Question number 10. The cost of one liter of petrol is 110 Kenyan shillings. John's vehicle covers 12 kilometers on one liter of petrol. He used 2,805 Kenyan shillings on petrol to travel from town A to B. Jane's vehicle consumes 12.5 liters of petrol for every 100 kilometers traveled. Calculate the amount of money that Jane would use to travel from town A to B on the same road. And you get three marks. So the first thing you do here is, since you are told John's vehicle cab, uh, jo, uh, cost of petrol is 110, we need to find uh, the number of kilometers from A to B. And to be able to do that, uh, John spent 2,805. Uh, for every 12 kilometers, you divide by 110. That will give you the that then uh, that the cost of one liter of petrol, and in one liter, uh, John was covering twelve kilometers. So that should give you the number of uh, kilometers that uh, that are there. So using your calculator, uh, you say two thousand eight hundred and five. You divide by one ten. That will give you to twenty five point five. You multiply by 12 and that should give you 306 306 kilometers that is from a to b uh, a to b uh, a to b uh, from th so now that we know the number of kilometers and jane jane's vehicle consumes 12.5 uh, liters of petrol for every 100 kilometers so uh, this is for this is for uh, John uh, that is uh, the cost of uh -huh, John this is for Jane Jane was to cover 306 kilometers so you know you find how many times how, how many uh, packs are there for 12.5 and 12.5 uh, uh, to, that it not not you don't divide because uh, it's covering a hundred kilometers with twelve point five liters of petrol. You find out how many times uh, this would be, and then you multiply by twelve point five. Uh, the number of times the hundred would fit on three hundred and six, uh, so that you get that you get the that that liters covered. Uh, twelve liters are covered with that and then you multiply by the cost of petrol which we are told it is 110 and uh, now using your calculator then you find uh, 3.06 multiply by 12.5 and you multiply by 110 and uh, that is giving me uh, that is giving me hmm, uh, that is a uh, one that is uh, it is giving me four thousand four thousand two hundred and seven point five uh zero so uh, i would use kenyan shillings which is equals to four thousand two hundred and seven and fifty cents so that is how you get the to the answer uh so the tricky part here is how would you be able to get the number of kilometers covered by john so you use that information, uh, that is 12 kilometers, uh, the amount he used, uh, the cost of uh, the, and the, the, the cost of uh, one liter, and the 12 kilometers covered with, by one liter of petrol. Then you use that information to compute the amount Jane would use to cover the same distance. Uh, and by doing that, then you'll be able to get uh, three marks. Uh, it's just a simple question. Uh, yeah. Question number 11. So for theta, uh, sign into bracket 2 theta minus 15 is equals to cos 3 theta. Uh, and you get too much. So to be able to do this, uh, this is the knowledge that you need. You know that sine theta is equals to the cosine of uh, 90 minus theta. We call them uh, complementary angles. Uh, we also say we, we can also say uh, uh, 
uh, vice versa we have uh, cos theta is equals to sin theta uh, si not sin theta but sin 90 minus theta uh, what does that mean uh, in simple terms it means sin 60 is the same as the cosine of 90 minus 60 is 30 and you can confirm that with your calculator so this is the information that would help you to be able to solve this question very important now we come back now to the question so if we write uh, uh, if we write uh, the sign we can write like this uh, we say cos 3 theta is the same as the sine of uh, 90 minus uh, 3 theta so we apply that uh, so what we mean is that you can now since these are equal you can now represent replace 3 cos 3 theta with sine 90 minus theta then you will get the uh, you will be, will be working with the sine both sides you can get you can be able to get of the lead of sine or you get uh, inverse sine sine of in inverse sine inverse of that so you can now rewrite your expression like this sine uh, 2 theta minus 15 is equals to the sine of uh, 90 minus 3 theta now because we are working the same this is sine and this is sine then we can say 2 theta then this is equals to that 2 theta minus 15 is equals to 90 minus 3 theta we put theta to the same side so we have 5 theta take 3 theta to this side becomes positive uh, 2 theta plus 3 theta you get uh, 5 theta take 15 to the other side you add to 90 you get 115 degrees divide both sides by 5 divide both that by 5 so theta is equals to uh, you divide 115 by 5 115 you divide by 5 and that should give you 20 uh -huh. uh, uh, this is uh, okay this is uh, 105 not 115 so we say 105 you divide by 5 and that should give you 21 uh, so what this means is that theta is equals to 21 so this is 21 and you get that so that is what how you would get uh, that question uh, and and i have said uh, this is the most important information you need to have for you to be if you don't remember this uh, this uh, uh, property here then it means you cannot be able to solve that no other way to get uh, to the answer or to arrive to the answer by doing that you'll be able to get uh, two marks this is question number 12 and we are told line a b drawn below is a side of a trapezium a b c d uh, so we have our line a b it is indicated it is eight centimeter uh, part a using a ruler and a pair of compasses on a computer trapezium a b c d in which a b is parallel to d c uh, angle b a d so we have uh, we should have uh, our a d here uh, uh, d c rather angle b a d uh, b a d is 67 so we have that angle there is 67 uh, 67 point five uh, then we have a d so we have our d there this is just a sketch so we have our D and we have been told that AD is parallel to uh, DC. Uh, so we have uh, BC is 5.5. .5. So we can put uh, this is 5.5 and this is 5 centimeter. This is 5 centimeter and these two lines are uh, parallel. So that is uh, and we are told that angle ABC is acute. A acute angle is an angle that is uh, less than 90 uh, so that is the information given and we are supposed to use a ruler and a pair of compass so you follow the instructions uh, so that is my ruler and my pair of compass uh, you have to follow those instructions 
you don't use any other instrument because what is being tested is can you be able to make measurements for example a d b c uh, can you construct an angle of 67.5 uh, using these two instruments so i'm going to wrap this to show that uh, to show how you go about it so let's have first of all uh, we have we have uh, okay this will come later let's look at this angle 67.5 angle 67.5 how do you construct angle uh, 67.5 uh, if you multiply 67.5 you multiply by 2 you will be able to get 0 uh, this is 140 uh, this is uh, this is 10 carry 1 uh, 14 15 uh, carry 1 this is uh, 12 uh, 13 uh, is it that uh, no 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 that's uh that is 135 uh, we have one decimal place there so the angle is 135 so we have an uh, angle 180 degrees if we subtract angle 135 uh, we have five we have uh, four meaning that uh, to construct this angle we can uh, construct angle 45 here and how do we construct angle 45 what you do is you extend that you make a mark there you make a mark there so we are using this mark we, what we want to do here is to construct an angle of 90 then after that we bisect that angle so using this mark you make a mark there and using that so you'll be able to draw an angle of uh, 90 degrees let's, say, let's assume that is uh, 90 uh, we draw it like that so with that now we can uh, we can use this we can bisect this angle using this point you make a mark there and a mark there you make using this you make a mark here using this so you also again uh, be able to get that angle uh, so with that since we have bisected angle one one, uh, one uh, 90 then this angle is 45 and you see we have seen here uh then this angle the whole of this angle is 135 degrees if we bisect this angle then we end up with angle 60 that is if you divide 135 by 2 you'll be able to get 67.5 so that's what we are going to do uh, so you use uh, uh, you use this mark i can use a different color for you to see that you use that and you make a mark there you bisect using you using this um, you make a mark there you make a mark there and then uh, what do you do you 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 can use your ruler and draw a line so what uh, to, to make it uh, uh, different then this is what we have our so our DC will write on this line uh, from there we are told that a we have been given a D is uh, five centimeter so you use your compass extend and use your ruler you measure five centimeters so let's say that is where you get our just an example so this is where our d is once you identify your d uh, we need to draw uh, we need to draw a parallel line that is dc is parallel to ab how do we draw a parallel line you pick your your compass you you draw a perpendicular and how do you do that uh, you extend your compass and uh, make two marks there using those two marks using this one you make a mark there using this one you make a mark there then what it means is that if you join these two points uh, they will be able to they, they will give you uh, a, a, an angle a, a line that is perpendicular to a b because it we have dropped a perpendicular then for you to be able to get uh, then a line that is perpendicular to this will be parallel to ad so using this point you make a mark there you make a mark there you make a mark a mark there and uh, what you do is uh, now you come up with a line that is parallel to ad uh, because we have been given the length of bc you extend your compass to, to the mark where you get 5.5 .5. So you extend your compass here. This is where you have our C. Uh, then uh, uh, you can be able to, you can be able, okay, let's draw this line. Uh, let's use a different color. 
uh, so you draw like that so that is our uh, our line DC and then you you extend here and that is where you find your C so that is the kind of uh, diagram that is expected so this is a sketch for explanation uh, because I have not used uh, my instrument here uh, because uh, using a computer may not, may not be give us the correct uh, uh, or if during the explanation we may not get the exact figure uh, so we move to the next page so when you use your your ruler and a compass this is what you get this line is parallel to that this is 5.5 centimeter and that so you are being tested this angle is 67.5 degrees so you are being that is what is being tested are you able to construct angle 67.5 using a ruler and a compass and uh, with that you'll be able to get uh, three marks so measure the length of dc this is our dc using your ruler and a compass you extend your compass here for this cd and or dc and you press it on a ruler and you'll be able to read the measurements so when i did that uh, correct i got 32 this is 32 point not 32 sorry it is uh, uh, it is uh, 3.2 uh, plus or minus plus or minus uh, 0. Point, uh, that is 0. Uh, 0.1 0. 0.1 so and this is centimeter so this is 3.2 plus or minus uh, 0. 0.1 so that's how you work out that uh, um, question uh, remember you don't use for example you don't use a protractor to measure this angle because you will not be able to to get the marks because uh, you are being tested whether you know how to uh, construct angles uh, and you have to know how do you maneuver like the way we have said if you multiply by two you get one that uh, one uh, one that five so that's how we came up with angle 145 so you are left with 135 which we bisected and by doing that then you'll be able to score uh, five marks i hope you have uh, understood the question you can try it on your own use your uh, uh, mathematical set instruments to be able to do that